and show everyone the first thing we got you for your birthday. A new festive summer cactus harness. I don't know if you know this, but June is dog birthday month here in our household. We have June 5th. Bunny is June 8th, Peach is the 15th, and Kermit, of course, last but not least, on June 20th. So Kermit, today we're gonna focus on Not About You. I don't think I'll probably make a video for all of their birthdays because there's four of them in June. They're all Geminis. But because today is Wednesday and Marble's birthday landed on a Wednesday, I thought we would do something special for you, bud, because you're the oldest, you're the alpha, your name is literally in this channel. I named myself after you. Some people think it was the other way around that my last name is Marbles and I named my dog Marbles. Absolutely not. I named myself after my dog. Hello, like a normal person. So Marbles is turning 11 today. Happy birthday, Marble. You're not super into food. You're not into toys at all. But aside from cuddling and hugging and attention, the only thing Marble actually enjoys is clothes. <laughs> so for Marble's birthday, Day. Mommy went and got you 11 shirts. What do you think about 11 shirts? You excited? Some people might think that's way too many shirts, but I would buy you 1100 shirts if that's all you wanted. Kermit, it's not your birthday. I'm not gonna do this with you all day. No, I'm not gonna put you up there. Say it with me. It's not my birthday. It's not my birthday. All right, Marble. Oh, yes, honey, all of these are for you, not for you. You don't even like clothes. Are you excited? He's a, a chill guy. Like he likes to just hang out, relax, not do a lot. But when you put a shirt on him, it gives him this little boost of confidence. Like he knows he looks good. He gets called a girl a lot. You don't mind. You just like the extra attention that a shirt really gives you. And it just makes you feel really confident about yourself. You really just go all out with that tail, you know? Do you wanna give us a fashion show? So this one is a beautiful, soft, it feels almost like linen, it's nice and light for summertime. It's such fun, fresh colors. Kermit, I can hear you crying. There's some blue, some pink. It's just really, really beautiful, you know? It's nice to have some extra color in your life. Right now we're doing this lovely, beautiful collared shirt with some dragons breathing fire. Vacation chic. Yeah. So this definitely has a little boxier of a fit and the sleeves are a little low for your arms, but that's okay. It's not gonna stop you from being fashionable. It still looks looks very handsome on you. Such pretty dragons and clouds. Just for like a nice day when we're hanging out and you just want to feel like a special little dragon boy. All right, why don't we move on to some of the, our little t-shirts? Oh yes, you have a couple of shirts like this that you really like. Do you see, I'm just getting excited. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. There's a nice little hole in the back in case you're wearing your harness and we need to pull your leash through, but it's also such a soft material. It just feels really good. Wow, look at those horizontal stripes that just do not quit. Just a really comfortable shirt for everyday wear. So the next one that mommy and daddy got you was a fun soccer jersey. <laughs> it's just a fun sporty look on you. Plus it just makes your shoulders look so wide and handsome and athletic. You're just a very athletic boy and this really enhances your athleticism. You know what I'm saying? What a sporty athletic little guy. All right, Marble, up next, we have a nice little casual sporty t-shirt. It's got good sleeves, they're not too long, they're a little baggy, so it's not tight around your arms or your shoulders. Kermit, get off the table. It's almost like a crop shirt, the way that it's cut, which is very beautiful, and you don't have anything like that. Maybe we'll get you a nice little stud collar to go with it, you know, some platform boots, and you'll have a whole outfit. We are now moving on to tank tops because it's summer and we gotta let those those pits breathe, you know? Even though you don't sweat from your pits, we just, it, sometimes it feels good not to have any sleeves, you know? So this is like an ultra thin, it almost feels like mesh. It definitely screams relaxing but also fancy, which is you in a nutshell. You're a relaxed guy, but you also like to dress up. I mean, look what we're doing. We're playing dress up. So although this is technically a tank top, it's definitely a little warmer. 
The amount of fur sticking out in your neck makes it look like the shirt is very tight, but it does in fact fit you correctly. It just gives you like a nice little lion effect, which is very handsome. This is a new, fun, fresh summer color for you though. This material is so stretchy and so thin. It's a really great shirt for when we're in the car or we have your harness on. So we got you a beautiful little pink one for when you're just feeling like a festive little pink boy. Who says a dress is only for girl doggies? I mean, it might make people call you she more than they already do because they just assume that you're girl because you're so little and cute. But you're not, you're a man in a dress. And you should feel comfortable to wear whatever you want. Is a beautiful little dress. And it just looks so stunning on you. And you really know how to work a room in a shirt, but like in a dress, look out everyone. You're 10 out of 10 in this bud. you 10 out of 10. How could I not get this for you? The only thing cuter than one dress, Marble, is two dresses. <laughs> I just couldn't say no. It's so cute. And you know what? Why not? He's just a little boy and he likes to wear dresses. You're just so handsome and you deserve to have this nice, like airy, breathable bottom, which is what dresses offer that shirts don't. They just like puff out at the bottom and allow you the movability that you deserve because you're an active little boy while also a sedentary little boy. And a dress really just fits all of your needs. You actually have a couple sets of pajamas like this, and you are the only dog that I know of that actually tolerates and enjoys pajamas, but you don't sleep in them. They're sort of just for like the nights when we hang out, watch a movie, or like, cuddle up on the couch, and it's a little chilly, and you just wanna wear your nice little pajamas. I go over to your little box where I keep your shirts, and they say, you wanna put on your pajamas? And you get so excited. But this is a nice, thinner pair of pajamas for the night when we're just hanging out and we're cuddling and it has little race cars on it. It's just so cute. I know it is the opposite of winter time right now, but I found this lovely sweater for you, which you could wear to something like Thanksgiving. <laughs> it looks beautiful on you, Marble. Nice and cozy and warm. Makes you a little top heavy. I wanted to get you a sweater so we can round out your wardrobe a little bit and you can have options. Last but not least, since I got Kermit a beautiful jean jacket last year for his birthday, I got you an extra cute one just for marbles. This one has a beautiful rose detail on the back. It's distressed. It has little pom-poms on the bottom. It is just a perfect little jacket for a fancy, beautiful little guy. And I just think it looks so stunning on you. So I know that we did 12 shirts on you actually, but this one's for good luck. It's like having an extra birthday candle, you know? If you're turning 11, you should have 12 candles because one's for good luck. So this is your good luck jacket. This is called a birthday. Yours is on Saturday. We're all very excited for you. I, I don't I don't know if you'll let us put this on your head. I don't think we're gonna try this. Here. Yes, that's right. It's your birthday. None of their birthdays. No, so on someone else's birthday, Bunny, they get to blow out a candle and wear the special hat and have happy birthday sung to them. So that's gonna happen for you on Saturday. Come here. I know it's your birthday. Yeah, do you feel special now? You know what you gotta do. You gotta wear the hat. Bunny, not your birthday. Oh my god. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marble. You're 11. Happy birthday to you. Okay, you wanna blow your candle? In? You didn't blow it out, you gotta make a win. <laughs> not your birthday, not your birthday. <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday, Mama! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's not your birthday! You can't take the whole thing! No, 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 no. She doesn't know the word no. It's tantrum time. Bunny, I'll give you a little bit of this if you make it. Would you like a bite of pill pocket? Because that's all that Marble likes these days. It's quite a tantrum. Watch hey, me. can you watch me? Can you watch me? Can you watch yeah. me? Good girl, thank you. Birthday there you go. Pocket. That's what you get for watching me, okay? Not your birthday, but ew. Not your birthday, but here you go. Yes, we know. All of your all's birthday will be much more food focused than Marble's. Marble is fashion focused. <laughs> 
disgusting. You guys are all disgusting. You need to learn some manners, my girl. Happy birthday, my mom. Okay, let's do ourselves all a favor and remove food from the situation. Happy birthday, my boo. Mama, it's your birthday. Is it your birthday? Did you have a good birthday? Did you get everything you wanted for your birthday? Yes, I wanted 11 shirts, please. Did you get a pill pocket for your birthday like a little old man? You think a pill pocket's like the best thing in the whole world, huh? So yummy, so soft. So easy to eat with no teeth. Well, wish us luck on uh, dog birthday month. Julian will probably vlog the rest of them, right? Yeah. But because One down, three to go. Yeah. I don't want you guys to think that we're not also celebrating the other dog's birthday. I love you so much. Okay, I'm so proud of you. You're 11. May we have 11 more. Am I right? Can you say subscribe and we'll see you guys next week? Was that a good time? Best day ever, huh? Mm -hmm. Kermit, you did an okay job today. You usually ruin other dogs' birthday much more than you did today. Bunny kind of upstaged you with that temper tantrum. So good work, bud. Someone's making you look good today. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> You're being a birthday ruiner. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you guys next week. That is my coffee. That is my coffee. Do not lock that off the table. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Bunny, like, I'm ending the video. Subscribe!